hello and welcome in this very quick video i wanted to show you online vagrant file generator so until now we have been creating vagrant file ourselves so if i go to my vagrant project so here uh, if i go to my project folder where i have my vagrant project let me just show you this is my vagrant project folder and you can see this is the file we generated in the earlier sessions and here we added the details about our box and the provisioning details and then uh, networking etc so we give all this in a vagrant file now there are options we can generate vagrant file online so if you just search for vagrant file generator you will get some options here so one of the options we have is this one vagrant file generator from uh, let me just bring up this you can see this link I will also keep all these links in the description of this video so this is a vagrant file generator that you can use online so here we can select the box we want so we can give the box name from here we can just select from here or if you want we can go to this link which will show us which will take us to the vagrant boxes search and we can search from here so any box uh, we want we can get the name and put it here either from this we can select or we can search it from here get the name and put it in this field here then we have the provider so here we have all these virtual box vmware docker hyper-v aws etc we also have this drop down list so all these are the virtual machine providers we have virtual box hyper-v then if we want to use container software here we have docker and then cloud platform we have aws cloud stack digital ocean google openstack etc then we have vmware here where we have vmware desktop vmware fusion etc and then others so we can select anything as of now we have i have virtual box so i'll just select virtual box here then how many cpus you want you can select from here memory and then if you want to give any name to your machine i will say my machine one whatever name you want to give and server name host name ip address and then create config so you can see it creates the vagrant file here you can just copy this part this part you can copy and then put in your vagrant file your existing vagrant file or if you want to start a vagrant file from scratch you can just copy all this in a new file you can also download this config so you can see it is here and then you can use it so let me just take this file I'm going to copy this file and I'm going to uh, create a new folder so let me create a new folder for vagrant project I will call it as vagrant project 2 and I will just put the file here so if I open this vagrant file in any editor here you can see this is what we have so this vagrant file is generated by this generator it is just information here and then we have vagrant configure then we have vm box host name provider vb name cpus memory all that we have selected there and now i will save this and now i will go to the terminal open the terminal and go to the location of this file so this file is located on my desktop projects vagrant projects and then vagrant project 2 so my file is here now if i say vagrant up it will create the virtual machine based on the information we have provided so it is getting the image from sent to us from virtual box and it is going to create the virtual machine so let's wait for this machine to be up and running so this is getting the server up the machine is booted and ready and yes should be fine yes so i can check vagrant i can run the command vagrant status and it should show me the machine is running and here you can see this is the default machine on the vagrant file and it is running and if i want i can now go into the virtual machine by saying vagrant ssh and now if I check 
I am inside this virtual machine which is a CentOS Linux machine. I will exit it from here and now I will remove it. So I will first stop the machine. I will say Vagrant Halt and this should stop the machine. It will shut down and then after this if I again check Vagrant status So you can see this is power off and if I want I can also now destroy the machine I don't need it anymore I just use it for this demo I will say Vagrant destroy and it should ask me do you really want to destroy this I will say yes so destroy means it will remove the machine completely and all its traces from the system so if I check Vagrant status and you can see there is nothing created okay and if I now check my Vagrant file so this is my Vagrant file again you can see this all we have got it from this link so you can also try this for beginners it will be very handy and once you uh, get familiar you can create your own Vagrant files I hope this was very useful thank you for watching and never stop learning